Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things that um, is happening in the deprecation of features is uh, speech recognition. Now, before you say, well, I like speech recognition, I want to control by voice, it is replaced by a newer feature called voice access. So speech recognition in Windows uh, has been there since Windows Vista. And uh, it was kind of a breakthrough, a break, really, really uh, amazing uh, back then. So this is speech recognition you see here. Of course, for example, I can try and use it and say, open Microsoft Edge. Close Microsoft Edge. And there you go. So, you know, this is what was speech recognition. You could control your PC with voice. Now, this is being deprecated because of the voice access feature, which is apparently a lot better. So in Windows 11, uh, the speech recognition, if you've been using that old speech recognition app, um, you'll have to switch to voice access, which is the other speech recognition if you want um, it will actually um, ask you to set it up and to have things working so uh, when you want to use it you'll be able to say you know voice access wake up and this is going to activate the voice access feature and so on so you choose your microphone you choose the different settings and once it's working it will replace the uh, speech recognition that um, was available on the PC. And of course, uh, you can shut it down, close it, uh, once you don't wanna have voice access. So uh, this will be the new feature, the new one that is actually working. Also, what is nice in the voice access, because that was the biggest problem with the other one, uh, speech recognition had a limited access to different types of voices so and 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 ways to work so for example if you used english it was actually using uh us english as its basics for understanding and we know that you know depending on the country where you are english sounds different and can also have different meanings of different phrases and expressions now the voice access is better because it downloads a package that is actually local to where you live so, for example the voice access when I activated it a little earlier to test it out, uh, downloaded a English Canada package. It knows that I'm in Canada, so it actually downloaded a flavor that is for the language that, you know, the little differences that could be in the English language from, you know, U.S. and Canada and so on. So that actually will make it better and more local to your uh, area. So... Uh, if you are still using the old speech recognition, well, maybe you should start uh, getting used to voice access, which is replacing it in Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.